Guys, it's Boxing Lowdown and I'm back here with another video. Now, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Feel free to drop a comment if you like and I'll happily get back to you now. Let's talk about it. Dillian White and Alexander Povetkin 2. This is my official preview for it. Uh, if you guys didn't tune into the podcast that I'd recorded yesterday, then uh, you can feel free to watch the preview on here. But I did give my prediction on the podcast. However, let's get let's talk about it, man. Let's talk about it. Dillian White and Alexander Povetkin 2. Rumble on the Rock over there in Gibraltar. Looking forward to this one, man. Uh, the rematch. Will it be repeat or revenge, man? Uh, Dillian White was on top of Povetkin throughout the whole fight. And uh, in the fourth round, he dropped Povetkin twice. It looked like that he was on his way to a stoppage win. Like I said before, in that fourth round, when that fourth round ended, it looked like Povetkin was done. You know, um, he dropped him twice and he looked like that he didn't want any more. But he came out for that fifth round and then boom, out of nowhere, a beautiful slip followed by an uppercut took Dillian White out, man. And um, that's why we love boxing. That's why we love the heavyweight division because one punch can change everything. And that literally was that in a nutshell, that fight was. Because like I said, Dillian White was on top, had Povetkin down twice, was looking good. You know, he was he was in his groove, he was doing his thing. And then out of nowhere, boom. Do you know what I mean? Povetkin landed the shot, White was out, and uh, Povetkin won the fight. So here we are in March, 2021. Uh, these two guys were originally supposed to have the rematch in November and then in January. However, due to Alexander Povetkin getting COVID, that's been pushed back and now, you know, we're here. So here we go. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, like I said in the podcast yesterday, um, what sort of effect will that have on Dillian White going right in there against the guy that knocked him out? I know Dillian White was on top. He was looking good and he was doing his thing. But maybe that might, you know, have a bit more doubt creep into your mind. The fact that you were so on top and you still managed to lose the fight. Do you know what I mean? How is his mindset going to be? in this rematch now i know people are different some people react to things differently um you know uh, look at lennox lewis after he lost to oliver mccall and i've used this example before for his next couple of fights he was gun shy you know he didn't go in there with oliver mccall straight away but then you look at lennox lewis later on in his career when he lost to Hassim ratman he went in there with him straight after that and you know he knocked him out so um yeah there are literally different scenarios that can play here and uh which one will dillian white take um, I'm looking forward to finding out, man, because, you know, his, his, you know, what he's been saying and his body language and, you know, the way how eager he is to get this fight back on, you get the sense that it will be the latter with him. You know, he's going to look to, you know, really just take off from where he where he left off before he got knocked out, of course. I'm sure that he's going to want to dominate and uh, maybe even try and get Povetkin out of there. I saw Dillian White on the scales today and uh, he looked pretty good. Do you know what I mean? He weighed in at about 247 and, um, you know, he looked pretty muscular. You know, the training's been paying off for him. He's been literally training since that defeat. And even before the Povetkin fight, the first one, he was in a long training camp for that one as well. So will that have an effect on Dillian White? You know, he hasn't really come out of training camp since then. And that was back in August. So I'm sure he's taken breaks and stuff like that. But he's really been locked and loaded since then. I mean, it's, it's been tunnel vision for him. He needs to get over this. Uh, if he is to look at, you know, the bigger picture, which is, of course, AJ and Fury, who we're hoping will meet each other later on this year. Um, Dillian White wants to put himself back in that position where he can earn himself a title shot. So in order for him to do that, he's going to have to beat Povetkin. And he's probably going to have to do it conclusively as well to, to kind of get people back on board and, you know, let them think that he has a realistic chance or any sort of chance against um, AJ and Fury. Uh, we saw what AJ did to Povetkin uh, when them two guys fought. Uh, Povetkin did have AJ in trouble earlier on, but, you know, AJ took Povetkin out conclusively the first time round. So there's going to be people looking at Dillian to, to do the same if he really wants to put himself back in the mix there um, and fight the likes of AJ or, or Fury. So uh, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens, man. But with Povetkin, um, you do ask yourself, like, what would he need to do different in this rematch? Because I know he won the first fight by knockout, but he was losing the fight. I mean, he was you know, in serious danger of getting knocked out. But, you know, he, he turned it around. So maybe that might give him more confidence going into this one. And, um, you know, maybe he might be able to assert himself a bit more. I mean, he is 41, 42 years old now. And he did look every bit of his age in, in that fight. But, you know, the, the thing with Povetkin is, I mean, even though he was losing, he found a way to win. And that's what world-class fighters do. So um, I expect both men to see adversity in this rematch, to be honest. Like, I think that both men will have to go through it at times. But it's just really who's going to be able to pull it off. Will Povetkin knock White out again? 
it's a possibility it's a possibility man um some of the guys on my podcast were believing that white would win um in the mid to late rounds they think that white would win it then um but like i was um i can't remember who actually said it to me but dillian white can get off balance you know what i mean he, he can get off balance and um you know as the later rounds go on i know we got a later round stoppage win over jazora but you know as the late rounds go on i mean he can get tired and he has shown that before um let's see how his conditioning holds up in this one but you know bevetkin has got the experience he, he's been there before he's done it he's seen it uh, he had a great amateur record he's been in there with all the top pros so in terms of the experience at this level uh, you have to go with Povetkin, but for my official prediction, I'm going to go for Dillian White. I think he will uh, turn it around in the rematch. He looks so focused for it, and um, you know, I just think that he will be able to correct things this time round. He's going to have to face some adversity before then, but I think that he will manage to um, get Povetkin out of there maybe. Uh, Povetkin's looked a bit shaky recently. I mean, he looked a bit shaky against Michael Hunter. Some people believed he was lucky to get the draw in that fight, and uh, against Dillian White, he looked a bit he looked shaky until he won it. Uh, even David Price managed to rock um, Povetkin. So, uh, yeah, I I've got Dillian White taking this one in round seven and eight. I think that's a good uh, that's a good bet for me. But um, it could go either way. It would not surprise me too much if Povetkin was to win the rematch. But let's see. Let's see, man. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this, actually. And uh, it's got a very good undercard as well. I'm looking forward to that. I might even do a watch along. I might do a watch along for him for the main event anyway. I haven't done one before. But I might try it out and see how it goes. Uh, maybe it might drive more people to the channel, maybe. I don't know. But I'll give it a go. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Uh, what's your predictions for this fight? And would you like to see a watch along? Would you tune in? Do you know what I mean? I always think like with watch alongs, it's like, yeah, they're, they're there. But like people are watching the fight. Are they really going to be watching you as well? So, yeah, I don't know. Let's see. I'll definitely be going live tomorrow anyway. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below, guys. And I'll catch you on the next video.